Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on July 8th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew. Thank you for joining me. It's been a while since I've done the Daily Dew, but I'm here and we're looking at our sun today first, looking at active coronal hole earth facing. We do have a small sunspot region developing in the southern region as well, incoming right there. We did have some pretty active sun activity over the last couple days. Looking here at another light, looking at the heliosphere. Still an amazing, amazing star. And we are truly lucky to be able to look at it this way. Looking here at another light, able to see the plasma filaments. And of course the bright, fiery and fading sunspot regions. Our sun is still extremely quiet. Looking here at a real-time solar wind. As we did see an increase up to over 500 kilometers per second over the last couple days, as we did have some incoming activity, but it is now steady and slow at 350 kilometers per second, but literally 501 kilometer per second that's the strongest solar wind we've seen in quite some, well, a little while anyway, the last couple of weeks. So not much activity to talk about on the sun. Looking here at the annual spiral, space weather prediction for the next few days. As you can see, a lot of that energy just missed Earth in these models. But we are expecting a coronal hole wind stream. And it looks like we're about to get into it as we have diminished now to 350 kilometers per second and will be dropping. Looking here at our Lasco 2 image, we're able to see this is uh, from July 1st to today. I wanted to show off the activity on July 6th. And that's coming up right here. As that was quite a plasma filament eruption. So coronal mass ejection, spitting out massive amounts of plasma. Just look at the size of that. Now, if that was an earth facing event, satellites would have been disrupted. Our hearts and our minds would have been disrupted. Cosmic energy would have infiltrated our magnetosphere, our collapsed magnetosphere at that. We did have some activity on the back side of the sun. Looking here at the Schumann residence, as that's pretty calm as well. A low power of 22. And let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours, as it's been pretty busy since we've had our little transition into the planetary conjunction. Look here if you want to see that video, which I'm talking about but most recent and large last night. 5.1 in Alaska, Kodiak, Alaska. That sent out a small tsunami watch as well. 5.2 here in Barica, Panama. 4.7 West Pacific Rise. 4.3 here in Argentina. In Puerto Rico, still seeing a lot of minor activity. 2.7 ranging to 3.4. but the numbers are increasing. Looking at a 2.5 here reported in Tennessee, that's the New Madrid. A sub was just talking about that last night in the live stream. Also looking at minor activity across the West Coast, not too much to talk about. But this is the big picture. Now all, all along the volcanic ridge of the Indonesian islands, and down into Fiji, 587 kilometer depth, 4.8 there. And that's just recently. So watch for a larger shallower earthquake somewhere around here. Looking at 4.6 there, Papua New Guinea. 4.7 there, East Timor, Leste. 
as well Indonesia 4.7 4.8 and the 5.1 and that's right by Krakatoa Krakatoa however you may want to say it 4.8 there but still very active and this is what we were expecting was increase in seismicity and as well volcanic activity we'll be getting into that in just a moment 4.9 there recorded Indian and Antarc Antarctic Ridge just south of Australia as well a 4.4 here in South Africa that's right some strange reoccurring 4.3 4.4 across each continent in the southern hemisphere right now as well as a lot of activity throughout Europe today a rare 4.9 earthquake reported here in Poland in Rudra Poland Poland as well 4.3 yesterday here in Bosnia and a friend in the live stream had pointed that out yesterday as well a lot of people getting into the live streams I really appreciate your support thank you for all of the likes and the comments and again thank you for all of the new subscribers the new family members to this channel looking here at the last seven days for earthquakes many deep earthquakes recently and as well looking at a lot of white rings so those are most recent this all started the last 24 hours ago large earthquakes the deep Marianas Trench Japan as well the volcanic islands of Indonesia deep earthquakes South America and as well volcanic swarm still in Puerto Rico but still it's triangulated there with these deep earthquakes so stay aware and prepare we are on the verge of a large earthquake to follow looking at the Pacific Disaster Center where we're gonna observe the most recent volcanic activities being reported looking here at Seven Kaya in Peru Fuego in Guatemala Nishinashimo in Nishinashima in Japan, Reventador in Ecuador, Senge in Ecuador, as well Nevado de Rules, Chile, Semeru in Indonesia, and Dokono in Indonesia. So that's about eight volcanoes before them. Very major volcanic eruptions. So stay aware and prepared, my friends and family from around the world. You can see here a tsunami watch was put out last night with the 5.1 Kodiak, Alaska. And quite intense storms now moving across the Canadian prairies as we've had many funnel uh, funnel clouds being reported throughout Alberta and as well Saskatchewan heading into Manitoba and these storms are going to continue and move eastward into a very hot sticky and humid Ontario so stay aware and prepared we do have one tropical storm to talk about and that's Christina who's just riding the coastline of Guatemala right now heading into the equator as well the tropical storm that was heading towards United Kingdom has diminished looking here in NASA worldview and we do have some more uh, sandstorms developing off the coast of Morocco Sahara dust very dry and hot Africa looking here in NASA worldview as well just wanted to show you all of the heat sensors that are popping off across Africa and look at all the smoke you can barely see the terrain from space thoughts and prayers going out to everybody there breathe easy looking here at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth Meteor Mike starting out here home base Calgary Alberta as as I was talking about we did have some extreme weather over here the last few days throughout the Canadian prairies especially in Alberta many funnel clouds being reported yesterday in and around Calgary and we had a tornado warning two nights ago or three nights ago but look at these storms they just keep tracking northward and then eastward bringing really cool temperatures smashing with these <laughs> record-breaking warm temperatures throughout Ontario so watch for extreme weather to break out as you have a system riding up the, the seaboard and as well you have the Alberta Clipper which is heading eastward quickly watch for the Atlantic provinces to get drenched in the process 
as well looking at west coast as we do have a low pressure center that's going to be hanging around alaska and northern bc it's going to usher in a lot of moisture in the five-day forecast looking at a little rain train coming at you watch for flood alerts to start to come in throughout bc region as well looking through central america uh, not much to talk about except daily evaporation rains heavier amounts throughout panama and bolivia warm temperatures eastern brazil but very cool temperatures argentina as they're looking at a quite a winter storm that's going to be affecting the mountains through the west coast of argentina and bringing around very cool temperatures to eastern argentina as well look at the size of these low pressure systems that are combining forces in the five-day forecast wow just getting battered let's get look over here at europe as they just you know missed the tropical depression it is downgraded a low pressure system now but watching the five-day forecast it, very cool temperatures behind this low pressure system as it dra drags down another low pressure system from the north and then crashes into very warm temperatures across the middle east and throughout africa already showing signs of another dust storm blowing westward across africa not much to talk about except daily evaporation rains heavier throughout the congo region later in the week but the big story here is these cool temperatures that are going to be coming and as well the snowfall that you look at that five day forecast is showing snowfall and minus eight temperatures in some places across the indies heavy rains continuing and as well west really warm west winds crashing into these uh, monsoon rains so you're expecting extreme weather straight across India and into Mumbai, heading eastward through Taiwan. And then look at this atmospheric river of moisture that heads straight out from China across Japan, not really helping the China floods nor the Japan floods. And watch as South Korea has to deal with two very vigorous low pressure systems in the five day forecast. South Korea there later in the forecast, quite a system developing. Monsoon rains across the Philippines in Indonesia. Heavier amounts, Micronesia across Australia. Very cool temperatures and a lot of moisture moving into southeastern parts of Australia in the five day forecast. A lot of people are noticing and commenting that Australia seems greener recently. And I've noticed that myself looking at satellite imagery and studying our weather and our planet. And I want to thank everybody for watching here. We're going to leave you looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern Hemisphere, looking at a huge, it's vigorous low pressure system here in the Antarctic and a strange place for the North Pole in the North. Thanks for watching today. Much love to you all. Again, welcome all of the new family members. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Bye-bye. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.